Hey, uh, ATC just called. They need you to start down, uh, to be exact. They need you at 9,000 feet, 10 miles before the Choo Choo VOR. Yikes. Let's get to work. Here's your flight fix. That's right, welcome to the Cirrus Approach Flight Fix, the bite-sized flight training show dedicated to pilots who never stop learning. You really don't have to fly IFR too long before one day, maybe on an arrival or something, you're gonna get that dreaded crossing restriction from ATC. And they're well within their rights to do it. And that means that the peace and quiet of your cruise flight is probably over, and you've been given a little more to do than simply, you know, spin the altitude bug and poke at the vertical speed button. So, in the scenario we're talking about here, things get a tiny bit more complex, but not too much. So long as you know how to use your perspective avionics system. But this is no place to break this down, no, no. We need to go to the hangar. But first, guess what makes this show possible? This episode of the Cirrus Approach Flight Fix is brought to you by the Cirrus Aircraft IFOM, the interactive flight operations manual that's so nice they made it twice for both the Garmin Perspective and Avidyne Integra line of Cirrus SR Series airplanes. With text, interactive widgets, and beautiful video demonstrations, you'll get up to speed quickly on the safest procedures and best practices for SR Series flying. It's a perfect addition to your digital flight kit, and pets love it too. Available now on the Apple iBook Store. So you gotta be at 9,000 feet, 10 miles before the Choo Choo VOR. And by the way, I love that we're using the Choo Choo VOR. So sure, you could sharpen the old pencil, break out your untouchable math skills, show off a little bit, or you could keep things simple, reduce your workload, and let your avionics work for you. Build a pre-calculated vertical path to your desired altitude and the point along your route that you wanna hit that altitude. Simply start by pressing the FPL key, the flight plan key. Then highlight the specified fix, the reference fix that you're gonna use, and then press the bezel key aligned with ATKOFST, or a long track offset. This creates a new waypoint along your current track that's referenced to that original reference waypoint that you input. Now, spin the inner FMS knob to set the distance from that reference point, in this case, 10 nautical miles, before Choo Choo, Golf Quebec Oscar. Then press enter. Now set the altitude constraint, the bottom of your descent, as far as you're gonna go in that descent. If you were given a pilot's discretion descent, then you can adjust your descent profile, really the way that you wanna descend within the current VNAV profile box. Maybe pick a vertical descent rate that's really gonna work for you and you can begin that descent when you want. Then you can simply just hang out until your TOD or top of descent. But on the other hand, if you've just got to start down now, if ATC just wants you to go, then you can use the handy VNAV direct function, which is basically going to calculate a descent rate that'll get you from your current position to that reference waypoint and the altitude that you want. It does all the work. But here's a really important point that you want to keep in mind if you're using the autopilot in this VNAV type of scenario. You need to make sure that the altitude is bugged and that VNAV on the autopilot is armed before this descent begins, or at the very latest, when you hear that vertical track, RL alert. That's your final alert to let you know that you are closing in on that vertical path and you don't want to miss it. And so that's it. While you're on your way down, you can make sure everything's working out as planned, that you're actually going to hit that altitude at the point you want by using the selected altitude arc, or as we lovingly refer to it, the banana bar, and that can be overlaid onto the navigation map page on your MFD so it's there the whole time and you get that real-time descent calculation. Okay, so there you have it. Next time you get that crossing restriction from ATC, take a breath. Put the pencil down, take a second, don't sweat it. Just let your avionics do the work for you. That's why they're there. In the meantime, get a hold of us on the great big internet by commenting below, or to really talk at us, send your comments, questions, biting critiques, or warm, loving praise to learning at cirrusaircraft.com. And those sign-offs that you keep sending in, oh, do we love them. And speaking of which, Hi, I'm Paul Salek with All In Aviation out of Las Vegas, and we're on our way to... Vegaland! Boom, shakalaka! Remember, learning is a lifestyle. See you at the next fix.